hey welcome back everybody thanks for checking out my channel thanks for sticking by for my uh, subscribers um, I have a tub here and two vanities and as you can see the vanities are pretty tore up and uh, it might be cheaper for them to replace it but they can't replace it in two hours while I do this tub and the other two vanities and since they have me doing the tub there for a chip they included the vanities I think it's uh, two to three weeks um, to get those vanities um, ordered and replaced. So I know this is kind of getting a little monotonous, you know, and the same old, same old, but it's just like a, if you watch any of the guys who do uh, their lawn videos, I mean, they cut the grass, they trim, they edge, and then they blow everything out. And nothing really changes, just the property is different. Same thing here. I mean, it's just you assess the situation, you etch, um, you wash, you prep, and then you prime, and you top coat. And that's pretty much it. And then you tear down. Um, I know it seems boring, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it being boring. I'm okay with just being confi confined into a bathroom. And that's why there's less of us. And that's why we get to charge what we charge, supply and demand. Um, and there are, honestly, there are people in my area who have hired me and they said, wow, I called this person, I called that person. They were charging $1,300 and $1,500 for just a tub. Um, there are a lot of people that don't wanna work and there are a lot of people that don't know how to do this. There's less of us that know how to do this. So um, I'm kind of in the middle. There's some people that charge somewhere about two 250 and some people charge you know 1300 uh, one of the guys I trained he charges eight hundred dollars and another guy charges 650 so we're kind of all over the board um, I think the only difference in the prices is the warranty so my warranty is just for a year I mainly do apartments and it's basically kind of like the the life of a lease I mean, not exactly, but that's the way I uh, kind of measure it. I mean, I do it, somebody moves in, they're there for a year, they might destroy it, they might not. And uh, some of the guys that I've trained, they offer three years and they offer five years. And they basically get that money up front by charging six to $800. Um, I just don't want to be tied to a tenant or a house for three to five years. I mean, it is paint. Let's be realistic. And that's where I came out through trials and tribulations of working for other companies. I mean, some places offered a 10 year warranty. That means they could have had 10 different tenants there. And uh, I'd be going back there to repair stuff after three, four, five years. And, you know, they've gone to three, four, five, you know, tenants like it's paint. It's paint. So whenever somebody says, oh, you only offer a one year warranty. That guy, I called the guy, he offers a 10 year warranty. Go ahead, go with him. As far as the small companies, they will give you the runaround. They ain't gonna offer you a true 10 year warranty. You, they're gonna figure out a way to blame you for whatever damage is done. And they'll patch it up at a discounted price. But I digress. Um, so I was asked, uh, what kind of bonder do I use? So there's a, I'm gonna be, it's gonna show up on the screen in a minute there's a chip on that tub and i'm going to repair it it's basically the number two there it is um and you could find that at walmart or uh where else uh, autozone or advanced auto parts it's just a little small can and inside that tall lid is uh is the hardener i think it's blue um, I have been trying something else now. Um, in this video, I did show that just for the video's sake. But there's another product that I purchased um, that I've been trying out. And I'll let you know how that goes. And it seems to be the same kind of thing. I think the other one's a polyester putty. Um, and the reason, the main reason why I'm trying it out is because uh, it comes in a giant tube. So it sits nice and upright. Uh, in my tool bag uh, I don't know if you know about using them little cans they tip over the lids turn to junk they leak whatever 
So I like this other thing and it sits upright, kind of like a caulking. It's about the size, if you took three caulking tubes and put them together, held them together, um, the little small tubes, that's about as big as it is. It's pretty convenient. And uh, another question, the main question, the real reason why I'm making this video is to answer Vegan Fit, one of my first subscribers. His question was, how do you get the housing authority jobs? Okay, you got your equipment, you got your insurances, you go to the housing authority, you find one of the housing authority offices, not necessarily the one that you're gonna work at, it doesn't have to be, but you know they're affiliated. And you, you go into the office and you ask them, who do I need to contact to get on the vendors list? That's it. I would like to get on your vendors list, who do I need to contact? You're not soliciting your business, you just want to know who because they can't they can't hire you directly um, at least that's the way it is here where I live and where I've lived before you go to the housing authority office and you go to one of the leasing agents or the manager property managers and you say hey um, who do I need to talk to to get on the vendors list here and they might ask you why what do you do and then you just say um, I refinish tubs and that person might tell you, oh, I don't need a tubby finisher. I got one. And that's fine because they don't run all the properties of the housing authority. I'm just giving you the negative side. Mostly people will say, okay, here you go. They might say I have one or they might say, oh, I need one. Let me know when you get all your stuff together. And remember that. So they'll give you the information. You go and you email that person. I'm telling you my scenario. You email that person and say I'm a tub refinisher here in San Antonio, you know, or Miami, Florida, or Los Angeles. I wouldn't suggest that, but anyway. Um, uh, what are the requirements to be added uh, to qualify to be on your vendors list? And the way it happened with me is when I sent that email, just a quick one, two sentences, my name is blah, blah, blah. I own blah, blah, blah refinishing. And I want to know what are the requirements to become a vendor? What are the insurance requirements? Like I know what I'm talking about. What are the insurance requirements to become a, a vendor? And they sent me basically a carbon copy of what I need. It wasn't written by that person. He sent it immediately. Um, I sent that email and I went to drive off. I went to the Home Depot and I looked at my phone and I had an email return. And I took that... Um, that attachment that had all the requirements and I called my insurance company which I have the general liability from and I said hey can you adjust my insurance to qualify this way and he said sure he just said it's gonna cost you this much more month I said okay he said is it worth it I said yes and I explained my insurance guy was a nice guy I explained to him how much are the smallest jobs there? How much work is there? How big? Once he knew it was a housing authority, he knew it was worth it anyway. And so he adjusted everything. He sent me a sheet that showed my adjustment. And then I emailed a copy of that insurance adjustment to that person. And they said, they basically sent me an email that said I was on their uh, vendors list. That's it. That's it. I did that for the housing authority, for the county. I did it for two cities. And I've done it for a couple of apartment complexes, which are massive. They actually have more than one refinisher. Um, and they have me do sometimes the tubs, mostly the countertops. But they're so big, they cannot have the manager uh, choose. There's a lot of underhanded stuff there that goes on. And, uh, that's the way it works. So if you want to know how to get to the housing authority, that's the way to do it. You get your insurance requirements. You send it to your agent. He adjusts. He tells you how much difference in payment it's going to be. And uh, you get it adjusted and you send it back. And that's it. You're in. Then you could go back to the office and say, hey, I'm a refinisher and I'm on your vendors list. Um, here's my card. Let me know if you need some tubs done. And that's it. Well, there it is, the before and afters of the vanities and the tub. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Thanks for watching. Come back again.